Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to today's morning report with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Antec Markets. For Monday the 11th of August, the European session has started very strongly uh, and that has been certainly helped by that big close that we had on uh, Wall Street on Friday. The uh, sentiment certainly had a big turnaround. After uh, a slight improvement in the geopolitical tensions that we saw, um, the Russian troops apparently pulling back from the border um, of Ukraine uh, as they ended what they're claiming to be a, a week of war games on the uh, on the Ukrainian border, and certainly that has helped sentiment return back uh, to a more positive nature. Uh, you, um, the Asian trading session was also very positive. That again helped by um, Chinese inflation that was uh, in announced on Friday, uh, sorry Saturday at 2.3%, uh, which sort of has a bit of a benign um, nature to it, but um, that also gives the uh, People's Bank of China further room to ease monetary policy if so required. So that um, had also a helping impact on the uh, Asian trading session. European session has started, as I said, very strongly. The DAX, um, the main beneficiary of this, obviously, um, improvement in uh, Russian tensions um, generally has a very strong impact uh, or would have a, a, a disproportionately strong impact on the DAX because of the uh, German um, closeness in terms of trading and uh, economic proximity to Russia. And uh, that's what we're seeing today, the DAX 1.4%. FTSE is only up about 0.75%, but still a nice strong rebound there. So we're seeing a bit of a recovery in these equity markets today. In terms of the, the currency trading, it's fairly mixed actually at the moment. You're having a little bit of, um, of weakness on the euro, but uh, the sterling is a little bit stronger. Uh, not a great deal else other than that to really speak about, um, but uh, we're seeing um, that uh, rebound as I said, on the uh, on sterling, which is probably the main th factor at play today. Um, in terms of economic data to out released today, there's nothing really that's um, going to be moving in these markets. You've got a little bit of Canadian housing data, but nothing major that's going to have uh, an ongoing impact. So I think markets are going to be trading on this um, improvement in the geopolitical t um, scenario uh, throughout the day. And uh, we'll see how this one goes in due course. But uh, in terms of um, how we're looking on the dollar, uh, dollar index is fairly fairly flat. Nothing great deal going on there. But I think um, the uh, in terms of volatility as well, that remains elevated. Although it was slightly lower on Friday, but you'd still say that it's still quite elevated. Um, no no significant improvement. But uh, I suppose if the markets continue to rebound today, you're probably going to see that volatility come back again. Um, my chart of the day is the euro sterling. Now, I think um, on Friday there was a big move towards, big improvement in the euro, and that showed significantly in the charts of euro sterling and also euro dollar, which I'll talk about in a bit. But this euro sterling chart has now completed a uh, small head and shoulders reversal pattern that uh, dates back to early July that actually gives us an upside target back towards uh, one um, back towards 81 big figure, uh, just above 81 big figure in fact in terms of the implied target. So uh, it, we could see a fairly significant rebound if um, if this continues to follow through. It's a slight correction today with that weakness on the euro um, that we've seen early today but um, I still think that uh, there's, um, there is something going on here in terms of this uh, euro recovery. You've got a nice band of support that comes in at 79.40 and I think it's just a case of just unwinding some of this slightly over stre over bought position that we had on intraday basis on Friday. So once we f start to form support again, I think uh, you could well see a, uh, a positive move in that euro figure. Uh, in terms of how we're looking on the technical indicators, certainly you'd be saying that um, that 21-day moving average, which had been a very, very, very good um, basis of resistance throughout the sell-off, uh, has now turned uh, and based out and it looks to now be forming uh, and being used as the basis of support as well so that's an interesting indicator to keep an eye on that's at 79.30 at the moment also you've got these the RSI which is currently um, well well it got to got to 60 in fact and it hadn't been up at 60 since March and that was the last time um, we saw uh, any sort of a positive outlook on the euro sterling also you've got 
stochastics at a, at a high since March as well. So you'd certainly say that in terms of the momentum indicators, uh, there is an improvement going on here. And um, certainly if it can hold on to a bit of support now in, and start to build, then that, um, that base pattern that we've got in place here over the past month or so uh, can certainly suggest that uh, we might start to see a recovery in this euro sterling chart. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later. Thank you.